Earlier this month, a Russian YouTuber going by Stas Reflay um, was arrested for killing his pregnant girlfriend after a viewer on his stream tipped him $1,000 to abuse her. He ended up shoving her outside in nothing but her underwear in sub-zero temperatures in Moscow, and he also dumped cold water all over her body. He ended up bringing her inside uh, when she was gray, unconscious, and apparently not breathing. He continued the stream with allegedly over 10,000 people in the stream, but I've also seen varying numbers of this, but we can at least confirm that it's over a couple thousand people, but I'm gonna go with the statistics from the news and it's tens of thousands of people. So that's upwards of 10,000. He cried, uh, he ended up crying and whining to the chat as to what he should do as she laid next to him dead on the couch or dying on the couch. He eventually called paramedics, but by then it was obviously too late. She was already dead, or so it seemed. His defense for the crime was a prank gone wrong, but seeing as his YouTube channel was full of abuse videos on her, um, that charge of whatever it was previously, he was only supposed to get about five years, has been now changed to manslaughter, so now he's getting about 15 years. However, there's more. Things have changed for Stas once again because forensic investigators have determined that, quote, appalling multiple head injuries were actually the cause of death and not hypothermia as previously speculated based on what had happened. More specifically, cranial cerebral trauma, or in other words, massive head trauma from an external source causing brain damage is what killed her. It was also stated that she uh, suffered multiple skin hemorrhages, as well as facial bruising that was very severe as well. So, no, he didn't just shove his pregnant girlfriend out to the cold and left her to die because he's a loser and an idiot. He literally beat her skull in and then shoved her outside and did all of this. Again, mind you, she was pregnant. Not that that makes too much of a difference, but you're adding another life that was taken in the process of his actions, which makes this worse. He clearly had no regard for her safety or anybody else's, he only cared about himself and money, as, well, a lot of abusers do, so there's really no surprise here, so why am I making this video? Well, it's actually because the new charge, or the new evidence, if you will, um, I, I don't think he's been officially charged yet, they're still investigating while he's detained, however, Valentina wasn't even the first person to be abused by him on camera. In fact, I can't show you this, some of the videos because of the graphic content, however, they are easy enough to find and they show him beating on plenty of other girls, too. And his friends just sit around and drink and watch, like, always. Like, this is a regular thing. Mind you, no one, not a single viewer who has participated in the stream of death, nor in previous streams, nor have his friends been charged with anything, or it doesn't seem to be there's any intent to do so, even as a bystander effect, which, I mean, is, I don't know how I guess they would legally do that, but it's really unfortunate because, in my opinion, those people are just as guilty still detained in a Moscow detention facility where he proclaims his innocence, stating that his punches were not her cause of death. In fact, he says she had a stroke, which is what he said through his lawyer. Maybe she had a stroke because her skull was bashed in. I don't know. Um, she wasn't even 30. Having a stroke is pretty weird, I think, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. He's also stated through his lawyer that, um, quote, they are appealing this because he's clearly innocent and they intend to prove so which is uh, not the smartest statement to make, considering there's plenty of video evidence of him just wailing on her and, again, even pepper spraying her, which is, I don't know if you've ever been pepper sprayed or have any concept of what that food would feel like. Look it up, it's pretty bad. And while seeing as YouTube finally took down Stas' channel, which had over 4,000 subscribers, just, you know, watching every week as he abused his girlfriend and then others on stream and on video and got monetized for it, mind you, um, the investigators, to my knowledge, have actually seen those videos, or at least some of them, so that is actually what changed the charges over from, I don't remember what it was to be exact, but over to a manslaughter charge. Now he's looking at even worse because of the cause of death, hopefully a murder charge. Stas went on to say to another newspaper while he was in jail that um, Valentina was a genius and regarded as such on stream and to other people. She was an actress, she graduated with honors, and she wanted a relationship with him very seriously and loved him dearly. However, he just couldn't commit because he claimed that she was a prostitute. And this is odd in many different cases, and I don't think that uh, means anything in particular as to justifying what happened. And considering, I think it's kind of just a defamation thing, because defamation unfortunately does go places in court. If you can lower someone's status, the courts may view them as less valuable, and unfortunately that's true in some people's cases. 
Regardless of the situation, it's really fucked up and wrong. She was pregnant, she did love him, there's a lot more complex things that go into a relationship, especially involving abuse. They were both uh, clearly addicted to alcohol and other drugs. There was uh, violence between the two of them, and their friends fueled this as well. It was toxic all around. However, people just blaming her, and I've already heard that, I know I'm going to hear it further, saying, oh, well, she could have got out. Oh, she's just as much to blame. No, she's the one who died in this with her baby. So, no, she is the victim. And for, so, for anyone who wants to make a comment, if you haven't been through this and you can't speak through wisdom, you don't know what an abusive relationship is like firsthand, then do me a favor and shut your fuck hole because you don't know what you're talking about. And that's true. You, it's, it's a lot more complicated than that for a lot of people. People can't just run to mommy and daddy always or just get a job and go. Like It doesn't always work that way, especially when you're so romantically involved and you think you were going to be with this person and you love them. Mentally, it's obviously not there, and she had her own problems, but regardless, she's the victim. What? What? <laughs> I'm hoping the courts ream him, because honestly, this just shows his obscene and narcissistic abusive behavior patterns. And really, that's all this is. The, uh, those kind of people, abusers, will always try to hike themselves up as something great. It was everybody else's fault. It was because of this. It was because of that. When in reality, it's like you were out for money. You didn't give a shit. You thought you were cool as shit. And you decided to take everything to the next level. And this time, you messed up. This time, someone died. And it was inevitable, unfortunately. But that's what happened. He continued to this newspaper, actually, and kept stating things as to justify his actions, which didn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, she had a gastrointestinal disorder that he shoved her outside because he didn't want her stinking up the place, and that just kind of backs up the prank, or backs, you know, backpedals the prank theory. Like, I don't understand the defense mechanism here. These are all stupid defenses and stupid statements, and arguably, too, the paramedics were just as stupid because instead of actually trying to resuscitate Valentina, they did not try anything. They just sat down and questioned Stas, which, I mean, in a way is okay. You're not police officers. Your job would be to help the person first. <laughs> and they didn't. So there was actually a chance she could have been saved, but considering the new evidence, um, that may not have been the case. Now keep in mind, this is the guy, too. I mean, he beat her skull in till her brain had physical damage. Do you understand how hard a human skull actually is? That's messed up. He beat her to death. And that act killed her pregnant child. I don't care if she was a prostitute. There was over 10,000 people watching. No one did anything. His friends never did anything. He, this isn't the first time he's done this to her. There's been lots of conflicts. You can look this stuff up on YouTube. It's mostly, it mostly in Russian, uh, like Cyrillic, I think it's called. But you can find these videos, unfortunately. But it does give context to what this person was. I know the police should already have seen this. And... It's just messed up. Like, why is this all happening? Why was this allowed to happen in the first place? He made a lot of money doing this, and he pepper sprayed this poor girl while she was on the couch. On top of that... On top of that, he's done this to other girls, too. How come no one has reported this guy before? He was let go for so long. He deserves the worst, and that's just how it is for... I mean, that's just how it is. Hopefully with the new evidence, he gets a larger charge, and he doesn't just get that 15 years for manslaughter, because we all know that that's not what he would actually serve. That's not how it works, unfortunately. And to anybody who feels like commenting that, oh, it's Russia, that's how it is, you know, that's not how it is. That's abuse. But anyway, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it, and I'm out.